Donors uh, uh, play a, a very, very important pivotal role in the role of the CIM concept. Again, the money, money uh, when we started, we started this idea that was a spinoff, again, of the RMC uh, idea back in the early 90s. Uh, the th concept on the national way was to be able to get support from the National Association. So at the time, we were able to get garner together eight to ten of the uh, largest national associations in the concrete industry to, uh, to pool and pledge money into the pool that, uh, that made the pot that they uh, created to be able to match the money that were required from the uh, local donors. So as time went on, uh, that commitment ended and the, uh, the auction took the place at the national level. The way the agreement we have with the National Steering Committee is the, the, the activity to develop and build donors is responsible of the local patrons group. So the local patrons group uh, uh, gathers together their folks together and, uh, and, and they, may, they make pledges and make donations to uh, uh, the local patrons group throughout the country and that creates some money that matches the national money. So uh, our patrons in Chico are very, very active. Uh, uh, they've been developed from year one and that, CAD, that, that main group which is made up of multinational companies, uh, national companies and regional companies as well as very small businesses uh, have been very, very successful in staying together the 12 years that we've been at Chico. So uh, even through the bad times, uh, we modified the, uh, uh, the request for donations in the worst of times, but we never ever let it go. And now that things are better, they've increased again. So to finish what we're doing, not only do we need to keep this basic donors together, which we're doing, and they, they have such interest, right now, such significant interest because they want our graduates more than any time ever in the past. And so they see the value of their donations coming towards us. Um, in addition to uh, company donors, uh, at Chico, we've, we developed a uh, cadre of, uh, of individual donors. I have 26 individuals, including myself, that, uh, that donate uh, an average of $1,000 a year to our CIM program. And uh, we've, we've had some, uh, we've had a couple of very generous donors that have donated as much as $15,000 as a gift. I had a call yesterday from a, uh, a father of one of our uh, donors that uh, is getting older and in his estate planning, he just gave us $10,000 uh, to put towards our lab fund. So we, we need to grow our donor base because uh, the need for uh, doing what we're doing is becoming more important, not just completing, in our case, the lab facility, but we have other aspirations as time goes on. Uh, we'd like to be able to get to a point where we can uh, consider making the decision to endow the chair of our program. Uh, endow endowing a chair of a particular program, particularly in an engineering school, is extremely important. It brings not only uh, 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 it primarily brings great prestige to the office of the chair. And so it's a very prestigious thing because it does, the endowment uh, is a fund and what the, what the fund generates in income becomes uh, extra money for the chair to be able to use to develop the program, to aid his research to, or her research and to do various things uh, uh, that they normally wouldn't be able to afford to do. And, uh, the idea of being able to do that and having an endowed chair in charge of our programs uh, also helps you in hiring. It helps to attract better quality and uh, of professors that uh, that want to be your leadership, and that's that's something else. It's not it's not real easy to go out and hire somebody to teach concrete industry management, which is a, a management a management program, a management degree with a very strong emphasis in concrete technology and methods. And so it's, it's quite interesting that uh, uh, typically the teacher that becomes uh, our professors are generally civil engineers. And civil engineers are, of course, focused on, uh, on civil engineering. But so uh, we, we, uh, we really need to, uh, to be, we, there's no such thing as a concrete industry management t uh, person out there that we can hire, so we have to be able to find people so um, donors, donors are very important. It's some, we, the, my donors are convinced that they're making a very, very wise and sound investment in our program. And, uh, and now we're reached, now not only our patronage is uh, located in California, we're reaching out to the 14 Western states 
that we can supply graduates to. And we're do actually next week, uh, we're go traveling to Washington State to present to uh, the Washington Aggregates and Concrete Association uh, as we look for students, outreach for students, as well as uh, additional patronage. And I'm, I'm quite we're quite successful as fundraisers, and we're going to even get better at it.